1970, and the memories of that lost grand final the previous year were quickly forgotten. Today is the day we've been waiting for since last January. By good ball, uh, good training, you've got right to the grand final for the fourth time. John, you are the captain of the team. You captain the team very well. The fellas admire you. If you forwards go well, the backs will go well. The match was only minutes old when Sattler's jaw was literally shattered in this incident. after the rabbit has retaliated with a try on to McCarthy who turns the ball inside to Grant and with the defense confused Grant breaks through for the opening try <laughs> Wiley to front row Bucknell who's taken head on by McCarthy in a bone shaking tackle Bucknell feels its jarring effect right down to his heels Sattler to Grant a lofted pass to Ray Brannigan. Stepping inside Cameron, he manoeuvres to score in the corner. Bucknell has not recovered from injury and leaves the field. And Jones is not pleased at Manley's defensive lapse. Shouts were looking good, leading 12 points to 6 at half-time. But there was plenty of concern in the South's dressing room over Sattler's smashed jaw. His long-time compatriot up front, John O'Neill. I said to him, I said, uh, what's wrong? And this part of his jaw was dropped and these teeth were level at the bottom of these teeth were split through the middle and split up here. And I said to him, I said, uh, you've lost a couple of teeth, that's a go quiet. And he spoke and his whole jaw wobbled. And I said, oh, gee, where's mate? I said, you broke your jaw, you better get off the field. He said, no, I'll be right. I'll be right. Snake, come and get off. I said, you've got a broken jaw. I said, it's smashed. Anyway, he, he, uh, he stayed on, you couldn't get him off. And at half time, I thought, oh, well, it's you know, 15, 20 minutes to get half time. I thought, we'll see him at half-time we come off, but there's no one in the world we can keep him down. That was a brilliant effort. It was a great effort. It was just a, just sheer uh, uh, toughness and guts. Sattler sends the backs away, and Souths have an overlap. Arthur Brannigan to Cleary, who breaks through the rifts, but Tennant's tackle saves a certain try. Grant and Coot combined to sustain Souths' attack. Dummy half, Grant completely outgenerals the defence, flashing through to score between the firsts. Yes, another major triumph for the South Sydney Rabbitohs and for master coach Clive Churchill. And what a courageous performance by John Sattler, one that will never be erased in the minds of all ardent South followers. Ron Coote puts it bluntly. There was no, uh, there was no, uh, you know, wealthy backgrounds. We were all from from lower class, uh, poor background, and I think that that's got a lot to do with why we were, you know, we wanted to do something with our lives and 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 uh, come above uh, where we, we knew where we come from, and we sort of thought, with, you know, I think this is what happens, and we were hungry to do to, for success, mm. and uh, and I think that helped helped help us too. But the, the recipe, you know, was really that, you know, we were all. Uh, fierce competitors and uh, and you know we help one another